Okay, so good morning, uh, student. Our lesson for today is about information, assurance, and security. Focus on security in the Internet of Things. <clears throat> Internet on Things security. So IoT or Internet of on Things security is the is the technology area concerned with safeguarding connected devices and networks in the Internet of Things. IoT involves adding internet connectivity to a system of interrelated computing devices, so mechanical and digital machines, objects, animals, and or people. So each thing is provided a unique identifier and the ability to automatically transfer data over a network. Allowing devices to connect to the internet opens them up to a number of serious vulnerabilities if they are not properly protected. IoT security has become the subject of scrutiny after a number of high-profile incidents where a common IoT device was used to infiltrate and attack the larger network. Implementing security measures is critical to ensuring the safety of networks with IoT devices connected to them. What are the challenges of an IoT? Security challenges. <clears throat> a number of challenges prevent the securing of IoT devices and ensuring end-to-end -end security in an IoT environment. Because the idea of networking appliances and other objects is relatively new. Security has not always been considered top priority during a product design phase. Additionally, because IoT is a nascent market, many products designers and manufacturers are more interested in getting their products to market quickly rather than taking the necessary steps to build security in from the start. <clears throat> Another common issue facing IoT devices is that they are open resource uh, constraint and do not contain the compute resources necessary to implement strong security. So as such, many devices do not, ca do not or ca cannot offer advanced security features. <clears throat> For example, so sensors that monitor humidity of temperatures cannot handle advanced encryption or other security measures. <clears throat> Plus, as many IoT devices are set, uh, set it and forget it, placed in the field or on a machine and left until end of life. They hardly ever receive security updates or patches. So from a manufacturer's viewpoint, building security in, in from the start can be costly. <clears throat> Slow down development and cause the device not to function at, as it should. Connecting legacy asset not inherently designed for IoT. <clears throat> Connectivity is another security challenge. Replacing legacy infrastructure with connected technology is cost prohibitive. So many assets will be retrofitted with smart sensors. However, as legacy assets that likely have not been updated or ever had security against modern threats, the attack surface is expanded. In terms of updates, many systems only include support for a set time frame for legacy and new assets. <clears throat> security. Okay, so in again, security can lapse if extra support is not added. And as many IoT devices stay in the network for many years, adding security can be challenging. <clears throat> IoT security is also plagued by a lack of industry accepted standards. So while many IoT security frameworks exist, there is no single agreed upon framework and large companies and industry organizations <clears throat> may have their own specific standards. No? While certain segments such as industrial IoT uh, have propriety incompatible standards from industry leaders and the variety of this standard make is uh, make it difficult 
to not only secure system but also ensure interoperability between them. <clears throat> The convergence of IT and operational technology, or the OT, network has created a number of challenges for security teams, especially those tasked with protecting systems and ensuring end-to-end -end, uh, security in areas outside their realm of expertise. A learning curve is involved, and IT teams with the proper skill sets should be put in charge of IoT security. <clears throat> Organization must learn to view security as shared issues from manufacturer to service provider to end users. No? Manufacturers and service providers should prioritize the security and privacy of their products and also provide encryption and authorization by default, for example. But the onus does not endure and users must be sure to take their own precautions including changing passwords installing patches when available when available and using security software <clears throat> notable iot security breaches and iot hacks no security experts have long warned of the potential risk of large numbers of unsecured devices connected to the internet since the iot concept first originated in the late 1990s. <clears throat> a number of attacks subsequently no, have made headlines from refrigerators and TVs being used to send spam to hackers inf uh, infiltrating baby monitors and talking to children. It is important to note <clears throat> that many of the IoT hacks don't target the devices themselves, but rather use IoT devices as an entry point into a larger network. <clears throat> In 2010, for example, no, uh, researchers revealed that the Stuxnet virus was used to physically damage Iranian confuge with attack starting in 2006, but the primary attack occurring in 2009. Open considered one of the earliest examples of an IoT attack. No? Stuxnet targets supervisory control in data acquisition systems in industrial control system using malware to infect in instructions sent by programmable logic controllers. <clears throat> Attack on industrial network have only continued with malware, malware such as crash override or in destroyer, Triton or Triton and VPN filter targeting vulnerable uh, OT and industrial IoT systems. <clears throat> now, in December 2013, a researcher at enterprise security firm Prop Point Incorporated discovered that the first IoT bootnet. No? According to the researcher, more than 25% of the bootnet was made up of devices other than computers, including smart TVs, baby monitors, and household appliances. In 2015, security researchers Charlie Miller and Chris Valasik executed a wireless hack on a Jeep, changing the registration on the car's media center turning its windshield wipers and air conditioners on and stopping the accelerator from working. They said they could also kill the engine, engage the brakers, and disable the brakes altogether. Miller and Velasic were able to infiltrate the car's network through Chrysler's in-vehicle connectivity system, or the U-Connect. <clears throat> Mirai, one of the largest IoT boot nets to date, First attack journalist Brian Cribbs website and French web host OVH in September 2016. The attacks clocked in 630 gigabits per second and 1.1 terabytes or terabits per second, respectively. And the following month, domain name system or DNS service provider DIN's network was targeted, making a number of websites, including Amazon. Netflix, Twitter, and the New York Times, unavailable for hours, for an hour. The attacks infiltrated the network through consumer IoT devices, including IP cameras and routers. 
A number of Mirai variants have since emerged, including Hygeme or Hygem, Hide in Sick, Musata, Pure Masata, Pure Masuta, rather, weak, Wicked Boot Net, and Okiro, among others. In January 2017, notice no, the Food and Drug Administration or FDA warned the embedded system and radio frequency enabled St. Jude medical implantable cardiac devices, including peacemakers, defibrillators, and resynchronization devices could be vulnerable to security intrusions and attacks. <clears throat> IoT security tools and legislation. Okay? Many IoT security frameworks <clears throat> exist, but there is no single industry accepted standard to date. However, simply adapting an IoT security framework can help. They provide tools and checklists <clears throat> to help companies creating and developing IoT devices. <clears throat> Such frameworks have been released by JSM, uh, GSM Association and the IoT Security Information, the Industrial Internet Consor Consortium, and others. In September 2015, the Federal Bureau of Investigation released a public service announcement and which warned about the potential vulnerabilities of IoT devices and offered consumer protection <clears throat> in defense recommendation. In August 2017, Congress introduced the IoT Cybersecurity Improvement Act, which would require any IoT device sold to the US government to not use default passwords, <clears throat> not have known vulnerabilities, and offer a mechanism to patch the devices. While aimed at, while aimed at those manufacturers, no, creating devices being sold to the government, it set a baseline for security measures all manufacturers should adopt. <clears throat> also in August 2017, the Developing Innovation in Growing the Internet of Things or the Digit Act passed the Senate, but it's still awaiting House approval. <clears throat> this bill would require the Department of Commerce to convene a working group and create a report on IoT, including security and privacy. <clears throat> While not IoT specific, the General Data Protection Regulation or the GDPR release in May 2018 unifies data privacy laws across the European Union and this protection extends on or to IoT devices and their networks and IoT devices makers should take them into account. <clears throat> In June 2018, Congress introduced the State of Modern Application, Research, and Trends of IoT Act or Smart IoT Act to propose the Department of Commerce to conduct a study of the IoT industry and provide recommendations for the secure growth of IoT devices. <clears throat> In September 2018, California State Legislator, Le Legislature approved SB 327, Information Privacy, Connected Devices, a law that introduced security requirements for IoT devices sold in the country. <clears throat> what industry are most vulnerable to IoT security threats? <clears throat> IoT security hacks can happen in any industry. So from a smart home to a manufacturing plant to a connected car, the severity of impact depends greatly on the individual systems. Then the data collected and or the information it contains. <clears throat> An attack disabling the brakes of a connected car, for example, or on a connected health device such as an insulin pump, hack to administer too much medication to a patient can be life-threatening. Likewise, an attack on a refrigeration system housing medicine that is monitored by an IoT systems can ruin the, the viability of medicine if temperatures fluctuate. Similarly, an attack on critical infrastructure, an oil well, energy grid, or water supply can be disastrous. <clears throat> Other attacks, however, cannot be underestimated. For example, an attack against smart door locks could potentially allow a burglar 
to enter a smart home or in other scenarios such as the 2013 target hack or other security breaches, an attacker could pass malware through a connected system, an HVAC system in target's case. <coughs> so a scrape, personality, identifiable information, wreaking havoc for those affected. So how to protect IoT system and devices? <coughs> Uh, an IoT security methods vary depending on your specific IoT application and your place in the IoT ecosystem. So for example, IoT manufacturers from product makers to semiconductor companies should concentrate on building security in from the start, making hardware tamper-proof, building secure hardware, ensuring secure, uh, secure updates, providing firmware updates, patches, and performing dynamic testing. A solution developer's focus should be on secure software development and secure integrations. For those deploying IoT systems, hardware security and authentication are critical measures. Likewise, for operators keeping system up to date, mitigating malware, auditing, protecting infrastructure, and safeguarding credentials are key. What are the common IoT security measures? Huh? Now, incorporating security design phase. IoT developers should, should include security at the start of any consumer enterprise or industrial-based device development. Enabling security by default is critical as well as providing the most recent operating system and using secure hardware. Hard-coded credentials should never be part of the design process because an additional measure developers can take is to require credentials be updated by a user before the device function. If a device comes with default credentials, user, a user should update them using a strong password or multi-factor authentication or biometrics where possible. <coughs> PKI and digital certificates. Public key infrastructure or the PKI and 509 digital certificates play critical roles in the development of secure <coughs> IoT devices, providing the trust and controls needed to distribute and identify public encryption keys, secure data exchanges over networks, and verify <coughs> the identity. API security. No? Uh, application Performance Indicator or API security <coughs> is essential to protect the integrity of data being sent from IoT devices to back-end system and ensure only authorized devices, <coughs> developers, and apps communicate with APIs. <coughs> Identity Management. So providing each device with a unique identifier is critical to understanding that the device is, how it behaves, the other devices it interacts with and the proper security measures <coughs> that should be taken for that service for that device hardware security <coughs> endpoint hardening includes making devices tamper proof or tamper evident this is essential this is especially important when devices will be used in harsh environments or when they will not be monitored Physically, a strong encryption is critical to ensure communication between devices and data at rest and in transit should be secure using cryptographic algorithms. And this include the use of key life cycle management. 